What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to learn how to build a website with Canva websites. So whether you're building a portfolio site, a landing page for a new app you're launching, any other online business you run, I wanted to go through this since it's fairly new, Canva websites, and it is fairly cool and I use it myself to build a bunch of small websites and landing pages. So without further ado, drop a like down below if you're new here, subscribe, and let's jump into things. So first things first, what the heck is Canva? If you're not familiar, it's basically a design, uh, well, it used to be a single tool, but now it's kind of a suite of tools. Um, they've got a free plan and a premium plan. You can build you know, YouTube thumbnails, they've got templates, they've got a marketplace. Think Photoshop meets you know, online platform. Um, it's, it's pretty popular. If you're not familiar with it, you should certainly check it out. So this is their homepage. I just wanted to overview it real quick. I have my account logged in here, so go ahead and create a free account if you don't have one already, and let's jump into things. So what we're gonna be building today is a landing page for a app that we supposedly have built ourselves, and that app will be the App Store on the iPhone. So I've got a couple screenshots here that I took directly from the App Store. We're gonna be using these in our design in just a moment, but let's first create said design. So we're also gonna learn how to publish this website, I should have said up front, which is the important part here. So we're gonna say create at the top right, we're gonna click that. We're gonna type in websites, it'll give us the dimensions here, which aren't really that relevant, but we'll go ahead and create this, and it'll give us this black canvas. So I'm also going to title this. We can click that little field at the top there and it'll open it on up. Let's go ahead and try that one more time. We'll click inside of here, we'll get our cursor and we'll say App Store Landing uh, Site instead of page, like so. And this is basically where we are going to start creating our website. So let's get through the basics. So on the left here, we have a bunch of recently used things. We can upload uh, you know, our own media. You can see a bunch of media that I've uploaded myself for a variety of things. You can add text. You can update the background here. And you can also use apps that uh, Canva has available, things like adding a QR code, grabbing something from your Google Drive, basically extensions in Canva to further improve your experience. Now, we don't want to waste a lot of time designing this, so we're going to go through it like a intelligent person and use templates. So if you click on the design here, you'll see that uh, you have some options up here to filter. You also have a bunch of results down here. So I am going to click on website here and we will get a bunch of templates. Now I will call out some of these are free and the ones that are paid have a little uh, crown in the bottom right corner. So for example, this one here, if you guys see that says, um, let me zoom into it so you guys can see. This one has a little yellow crown here, so you can see that it is indeed pro. You do need to have a Canvas subscription. But a lot of these are free, which is really nice. So I'm gonna click this, and you'll see that this gets applied to our uh, particular Canvas here. You'll see when I click it, it gives us a variety of pages, and we're gonna use all of these. So first page on the right, I'm gonna click this. And then right below it, we have an option that says Add Page. We're going to click that and then we'll click this one right below it. You can see if we scroll up, it's starting to look like a site. We'll add one more page. We'll hit the next one. And now just for example's sake, I am using uh, this particular design, but obviously you can mix and match. Doesn't all have to be the same theme. I'm just using the same theme for consistency and for the sake of not making this video, you know, two hours long. We'll just do that one last time, and here is our last one. So before we start customizing things, let's actually publish our site, because that's kind of the point of a website. So at the top here, right next to Try Canva Pro, there is a button uh, on the right-hand side that says Preview, and then Publish Website as well. So if I hit Preview, you'll see it open up the website in a makeshift browser, and we can scroll through it, and it's basically our design. And what's really cool about this is that this isn't just a big image that Canva is slapping onto a website. It is, in fact, a website where you can customize each and every one of the elements you see here. So let me go ahead and hit Publish Website here. It'll open up this panel on the right-hand side, and we get a couple options. We can use a free domain, or we can purchase a domain or use an existing domain. So if you don't have a domain, this is really great to start if you want something up just to you know, have a website to get started. You can always come back and add a domain, but definitely a good place to start. So we're going to say free domain and hit continue. The way that free domains work here is that you're going to have something.my.canva.site. So I'm going to say this is 
the Apple App Store. So let's go ahead and click Edit here since I've used this one before. So let's see, can I edit it? This is my URL, it looks like. So I've added this one previously. Let's see if I can change this. So this is the browser tab preview. There should be a way to edit this. So these are specifically um, endpoints, different endpoints that you can use. So let's see if I can edit this. There surely must be a way to edit this. All right, looks like it's not wanting me to edit. Let's see what this is. So here we can change the browser tab preview, which I think is okay after um, landing sites. So we'll keep that as is. And let me just go ahead and publish. Let's see if it uh, actually shows up. A call out, you can also enable password protection if you just wanna share this with your design team. But let's hit publish and let's get this actually showing up. The URL you saw up here, the test1234 is what I previously had used, which is why I guess it auto filled it in. So I'm gonna click here and hit submit, uh, or rather preview website. And it opens it up right here. So test1234 site, And I will actually leave this published for all of you to go take a look at. So obviously it's a beautiful website. Everything is a separate component. We can actually highlight and see that directly. And now we're gonna actually design it because this is a template and we can do better. So I'm gonna come back here and we'll close this and let's actually go to edit design. And this left panel has seemed to closed. So we're gonna open that again. And we're gonna edit each of these things one by one. So let's go ahead and change the title up here to app store, like so. Maybe we'll change this icon as well. So I am going to hit delete on it like so, and let's search in the elements here for an Apple logo. Or maybe we'll search for App Store. Beautiful, so we have an App Store icon. It is free to use, doesn't say pro on it, looking, looking good. So we're gonna resize it and move it up here. And what's really nice about Canva websites and what I really, really like about it is basically like Photoshop, but without all the hecticness of like, um, using something like Wix or like WordPress where you have to configure stuff, it just works. And it's frankly kind of fun to use. So we are going to bring in a bunch of screenshots as well. You guys saw that I have something like five or six in here. So before we do that, let's change some of those copies. So I'm gonna say, um, let's see, um, an app for everything will be our tagline. We'll make this button and we'll say visit now. We'll say launch store and this we're gonna have connected to a uh, actual URL so we'll do that we'll say launch store and let's see how to actually connect this let's right click it let's see how we can actually connect this to a particular uh, URL so we have a link option here if we right click it and we can actually go somewhere so for now I'm just gonna go to apple.com since I don't want to go and rummage around for the App Store URL hit enter and it's applied it so over here, we've got this image and we're gonna actually get rid of it. And what we're gonna do instead is get rid of this as well. We'll keep this nice little uh, circular gradient thing that we've got going on here. And we're gonna search for frames. And frames allow you, as the name implies, to bring in a frame and then toss an image into it. So there is a frame here actually for an iPhone. So we'll grab this and copy and paste it twice. And we are going to enlarge this by selecting both of them and simply just dragging. Just make sure you stay above this little fold line at the bottom so you don't actually overflow accidentally. And we'll drop those like so. Now let me go ahead and bring in two images that we are going to toss into there. So maybe we'll bring in, let's, let's pick two of these. This one looks nice. And this angry bird one looks nice as well. We'll do these two actually. So we'll bring those in and it should copy them and we can drag them directly into that frame there and just like that, it will show up. So looking pretty good already. That took all of two minutes and let's continue down. So here we will go ahead and add some more copy. We'll say app store and we'll change this is the only place to discover apps and games for iPhone put an exclamation mark because we're super excited about it. And we'll continue down and add some more copy. I'm just gonna make up something to go here. So let's say Apple provides a safe place to find your next game, tool, or any other thing you may need to improve your iPhone or iPad usage period 
We hope you enjoy your time browsing the store. All right, hopefully no typos in there. We'll continue down, and here we're going to say uh, games at your fingertips. And we're going to say discover games from top creators and join Apple Arcade. And we're going to, of course, change this here. So once again, we've got a frame with an image. I am going to go back here and find the frame. And what we're going to do is bring this guy on in. And we'll just have a single iPhone since we're just talking about games here. And we'll come back here. And I think we've got this open already. And I think I already used the Angry Birds one up here. So instead of using that one, we do have a screenshot of the Apple Arcade for games somewhere in here. So let me see if I can find it. There it is. So we'll grab this drag this guy on in and toss it into the frame. And one nice thing is you saw right there, I accidentally moved this. You can just hit Command Z on a Mac or Control Z on a Windows PC. And it works kind of just like uh, Microsoft Word. You can just undo stuff, it's, it's pretty nice. We'll continue down here and we will do this one and we'll say social apps and we'll say uh, meet be real, the app of 2022. Um, unlimited social connection. Bear with me while I make all of this up as I go. So we'll go ahead and toss this here like so. I will also enlarge this frame. And then I think I've got a be real image, which is why I went with that app. So I'll go ahead and grab that, this one right here, drag it on in, and then boom, looking good. Let me actually move it down a little bit since if you look at the page, there is a fold line like right there. So we don't want it to be too high up. And I'll draw, drag this down a little bit too. And then we've got two more pages to go. So let's see what other images I've got because I think I've got one or two more. So I've got this one here and this one here. So let me actually select these and bring them on in. And then there's also a search one that I've got here. I'll first bring these in and then we'll add the frames. So here we'll say um, even more. Uh, search the store for whatever your heart desires. Unlimited options, no matter what you need. And then, of course, we'll bring in those frames one last time. And we'll bring in three of them. So instead, I'll just bring in one, and I shall copy and paste it three times. So we will say one, two, three. All right, let me just drag them out a little bit to make them look nice. So you'll see here that something is, uh, this one should be behind it. That's kind of the look I'm going for here. So I can actually select this. I can right click it and I can say send backwards or send to back. In this case, one time backwards worked. I will enlarge this by selecting all of them and dragging them up. Looks like I missed this one here. Let's try that one more time. All right, looking good. And then the last thing, we're just going to drag these images like we've been doing. And we are looking pretty darn good. And actually, I'm gonna be lazy and just delete this page since uh, I don't wanna you know, put everyone through watching me type more copy. So we'll hover over this little delete page button and we'll just delete it like so. And we've got a website. Um, I don't know how long this video has gotten, but it certainly is a lot faster than building it yourself. Let's go ahead and publish this and see it in action. So we'll hit publish website once more. So it says changes you've made to this design need to still be published. Okay, got it. And here we're going to say resize on mobile. Um, it it kind of tells you, do you want to keep navigation or do you want to um, not keep it? So it actually shows you what it'll look like on mobile, which is really cool. Um, that's the other part of the Canva website. It's like it's all dynamic and you don't really need to do anything, which is pretty amazing. So let's uh, go ahead and continue here. So we publish to, let's see if we can change this uh, one more time. So let's say publish Canva domain. Okay, let me continue here. And let's see if I can change this guy. So I should be able to. So let's go ahead and add maybe a subdomain here. So let's see, publishing this website may break any external links. That makes sense, common sense. And let's see, that's our preview. And you can add a video description as well. This is used, um, or website description, I should say. This is used for SEO, so it is important to add this. I'm just gonna be lazy today and not add it. And boom, we're gonna hit publish and let's see what it spits out. And I'll actually leave the link of this in the description down below so y'all can go look at it and uh, play around with it on your phone. So cool, here is our website. Obviously, it's what we built, no surprise there. So let's go ahead and click this. Let's see if we go to apple.com. We in fact do. It's also a 
new tab that it opened. Let's continue on down. We have all of our copy, and this is actually a really nice website. If I was to build this myself um, in you know HTML or CSS, or even if I built it myself with another website creator, it's kind of a pain nowadays to build out these responsive websites for mobile, for like iPad, uh, make sure nothing's cut off, accessibility. So it's pretty great that this all works out of the box. The last thing I'll mention here is that because you are using Canva websites, you do have designed with Canva here and you do also have terms and support. If you want to get rid of that, you need to go ahead and get Canva Pro, uh, if I'm not mistaken. And then you can also, of course, connect this to your own domain so it doesn't you know, look um, slightly unprofessional, but I digress. As a first place to start, this is really great. It also gives you HTTPS, you get the nice lock so your users and customers know that they are on a secure, you know, authentic website. So I know this video was pretty quack, quack, quick. I probably talked three miles an hour, but hopefully all of this made sense. Please leave any comments or questions you have down below. I've been wanting to share this for a while and I kind of just made this video on a whim today. Let me know in the comments if you use a different website builder, um, if you have any websites that you'd like me to look at and give uh, my thoughts on, drop a like if you haven't done so already. And of course, if you're new here, hit subscribe, help out the channel, help us grow together. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.